Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Maggie. Today our topic is how to talk about your favorite TV shows and movies in English. Today's video is in collaboration with iTalkBBTV and we have a huge giveaway planned. So if you're interested, continue watching this video. 视频开始之前呢, 我们先来介绍一下今天视频的合作方 iTalkBBTV. iTalkBBTV是专门为北美华人设计的 亚马逊礼品卡的抽奖活动，最高的一名锦鲤呢，可以得到一百美金的亚马逊礼品卡。同时还有四十位幸运观众可以获得十美金的亚马逊礼品卡。参加方式呢，非常简单，从现在开始到
R rated, rated R. 有的时候你去电影院看电影嘛，前面那个 trailer 最后一句会来一个啊什么什么 movie rated R， 就是这个电影可能不适合小孩观看，然后要需要大人的这个指导才能观看啊。所以这两个可以记下来。Next one is a very big one, one of my personal favorite as well. Sci-fi, science fiction. Science fiction, sci-fi. 这种呢，我就非常非常喜欢那种带动物的，比如说 Jurassic Park and Megalodon. That one with Li Bingbing in it. That's like I I love these kind of movies where there's a huge, humongous animal and、um, they're causing destruction. These are like my favorite type of movies. Science fiction, science fiction. Another one of my favorite sci-fi is. The Matrix. If you have not watched The Matrix, go watch it because you might be living it. You didn't hear it from me. Next one: action and adventure. Action and adventure. 顾名思义就是动作电影。这种呢，我个人可能还行，也不是。特别特别喜欢吧，但是如果你一定让我看呢，我也能看下去。我脑子里想的第一个就是叶问，我也不知道为什么。但是当然了，美国有很多很多这种电影，比如说《Fast and Furious》。That's definitely action and adventure. And John Wick is another classic one. John Wick. If you haven't watched the series, maybe you should check it out. It's very watchable. Keanu Reeves just does a lot of cool things, and it's it's good. Action and adventure. Next one, drama. Drama 就是剧情类的，只要是故事片儿、剧情类的，就可以叫它做 drama. I think one of the most classic one has to be Notebook. The Notebook. This one is a classic drama. A little secret to you, I never finished The Notebook. I know it's one of the most classic.、Uh, Drama movies, but I just every time I start watching it, I just fall asleep. I don't know why. <laughs> it's not, I guess, it's not my type of movie. Ah,、uh, 在 drama 下面呢，我觉得有一个比较值得提的，叫做 period drama or historical drama. 因为我自己呢特别爱看那个 Downton Abbey， 所以我才知道这个叫做啊、uh, period drama. 啊、uh, ，就是古装剧，所以大家知道这个就可以了。然后当然啦，我非常推荐《Downton Abbey》。下一个呢，比较值得一提的是《War and Action》啊，这种呢就也是 action 下面一种吧，但是主要是关于战争题材的，所以大家知道就可以了。《War and Action》之后呢，还有 musical。musical 我们知道是音乐剧嘛，非常有名的几个，我觉得最有名的《High School Musical》，我们刚才说了，还有一个《Mary Poppins》。Mary Poppins, 这个也挺有名的 Last but not least, indie movies, indie films, independent films. 这种就是没有大制作、小制作、小成本的这个独立电影。其实我觉得，好像如果你不是一个真的电影迷的话，可能我们知道的 indie film 都是火了以后的。比如说，我自己最喜欢的一个，然后我也非常非常推荐大家观看的一个，叫做 Napoleon Dynamite。Napoleon Dynamite. It actually is a comedy, but it is also indie because it is a small production independent film. But later it was popular, so we also know it. So indie films or independent films. Next one, I think it's very important. 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 It's I haven't watched it yet. That spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! This is spoiler. 有的时候你跟朋友谈论的时候，然后可能会剧透的时候，你要跟人家说一下，哎 ，spoiler alert. This happened. 如果对方在你说完了 spoiler alert 之后说 no 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 don't tell me， 那你就不用跟他说了啊。Uh, 所以呢，大家知道这两个词就可以了。Don't spoil the movie. Spoiler. Alert. 下一个词是 sequel. Sequel. 比如说 Iron Man 2 is a sequel to Iron Man. 所以就是续集，就是接着上一部讲的，就叫做 sequel. 所以这个呢，大家也是知道就好了 Sequel. 下面还有一个呢，叫做 trilogy. Trilogy. 这个呢，就像这种啊，星球大战啊 ，Star Wars trilogy or Lord of the Rings trilogy. 啊，那个指环王三部曲啊，所以就是三部曲就是 trilogy. Trilogy. 好，今天的视频呢就到这里了，希望对大家有用。然后谢谢你们的观看，我们下期再见，拜。